Welcome to Leading Healthcare the Christian Way. Today is Prayer Every Wednesday, and we are going to talk about the book of Psalms, chapter 6, and how we apply that into our lives, into the lives of others, and into the lives of our community members. Let's go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds and our hearts so we can understand the Word of God. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, and we ask you to open our eyes and our hearts and that we will be able to absorb your word and also apply those words into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's read the book of Psalms, chapter 6. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul is also greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? For me, when I am not feeling well physically, I feel the pain in my bones and my soul is not at peace. So this is exactly what the psalmist talked about, asking the Lord to heal me for my bones are troubled and my soul is also greatly troubled. So we're going to pray for the Lord to heal us and to heal our friends or family members that are suffering. Return, O Lord, deliver me. O save me for your mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave who will give you thanks. So the psalmist is just telling the Lord, Lord, if I die or if, if a family member or a friend dies, then how are they going to remember you? In the grave who will give you thanks? If I die, then I won't be able to praise and thank you. I am weary with my groaning all night. I make my bed swim. I drench my couch in my tears. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows old because of all my enemies. Have you ever had a time in your life when all you could do is cry? No words could come out from your mouth, but all you could do is cry and cry and you drench your bed or your towel or your blanket with all your tears. So during this time, I want us to be sensitive to those people that have lost loved ones due to the pandemic. And we are going to pray for comfort and, and healing of their broken hearts. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. The good thing about this is the psalmist is encouraging himself and encouraging us, the readers, that yes, even though I am brokenhearted, even though I am crying a lot, I know that the Lord has heard my cries and the Lord will answer my prayers. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and be ashamed suddenly. You know, sometimes when we are so angry at the people that hurt us, our tendency is, I'm going to get even. But this psalmist is actually encouraging us and reminding us that the Lord will take revenge. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. It is not up to us to plan on getting even but it is up to the Lord to take advantage. I don't know about you, but for me, as I'm getting older, I feel a big difference in my energy level and also some aches and pains in my body. And I know I contributed that a lot to hormonal changes as the woman grows older. I also want to pray for our minds because our minds are very powerful. That's why we read the word of God daily because it renews our mind. And finally, we need to pray for our heart or our spirit so that they can be in alignment with the word of God. Because if we have a prolonged broken spirit, 
then we will not be able to have the joy of the Lord, to be able to encourage one another, be the instrument of peace that God created us to be. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for our bodies, Lord, as living sacrifices to you today. Lord, heal our bones, our joints, our hormonal imbalances or chemical imbalances, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, that we will be full of health and energy today or this week in the name of Jesus. We pray for our minds, Father God. Align our minds, Lord, with your word. Cleanse us from all negative thinking. Cleanse us, Lord, from catastrophizing thinking negatively about our situation, Lord, and turn things around for us. Help us remember that we renew our minds by reading your word, Father God. And Lord, we also pray for our spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we submit to your Holy Spirit and no one else. Lord, I also pray for our friends and family members, Father God, who have lost loved ones, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the spirit of comfort, Lord, that you comfort them. And Lord, I pray that you remind them of the living hope that is in Jesus, Father God, that there is life after death and there is resurrection just as Jesus was raised from the dead on the third day. So give them a living hope in Jesus, Father God. And finally, Lord, I want to lift up a friend of mine who is undergoing surgery today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that there will be no complications of the surgery. I pray for the doctors and the nurses, Lord God, that they will be able to perform with alertness and that they will follow the standard of care, that there will be no complications of this surgery, and Lord, that my friend will wake up refreshed, and that Lord, my friend will wake up knowing that she still has several years to live on this earth in Jesus' name. And I pray for my viewers, Father God, that today they will sense the presence of the Holy Spirit and that today is a new day for them to take care of themselves, to start an exercise program, and eat healthy, Father God. I pray that they can build a strong lifestyle so they can advance your kingdom. Thank you so much, Lord, for your word today that says, For the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping, the Lord has heard my supplication. Thank you so much and see you again next week.